Allah Rahman Rahim. Now this is uh, again the practice of the previous video regarding the fluid management. You injected a person some fluid, then you measured following parameters. Extra cellular fluid is increased as compared to the uh, fluid before injection. A smolarity of extra cellular fluid is the same as uh, compared to before injection. A smolarity of intracellular fluid is also the same. Intracellular fluid volume is also the same as before injection. So you have to identify which type of fluid is this. We are having basically three types of fluids. Isotonic, hypotonic or hypertonic. So the only thing that is changed over here is the extracellular fluid volume. We are having a single arrow. The smolarity that is on the y axis that is normal. The volume of intracellular fluid compartment is the same. A smolarity of intracellular fluid compartment is the same. The only thing that is increased is volume of the extracellular fluid. So the fluid over here is normal saline. That is isotonic fluid. So if you inject isotonic fluid, it will on, only increase the extracellular fluid volume. It has nothing to do with the smolarity of extracellular fluid volume, nothing to do with the smolarity of intracellular fluid volume, and nothing to do with the volume of intracellular fluid compartment. <clears throat> now another scenario is if you inject a person some fluid and uh, you you see this, the, uh, this these parameters that is the osmolarity is decreased osmolarity of the fluid after injection is decreased and the volume of extracellular compartment that is increased while the volume of the intracellular compartment that is also increased so what type of fluid is this there is hypotonic saline this is hypotonic because it decreases osmolarity when the osmolarity is decreased the volume of both extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid that is also increased. So this this figure, if you memorize this figure, you can answer the MCQ very quickly. Now we are having a third scenario in which, if you see compare both the boxes, the osmolarity of extracellular fluid as well as the intracellular fluid both are increased. The arrows are moving upward, while the volume of the extracellular fluid is also increasing. But the volume of intracellular fluid is decreased. So which type of fluid is this? This is hypertonic saline. So the only thing you have to remember is about these photographs. This is isotonic, this is hypotonic, this is hypertonic. Now this figure for the intracellular fluid, if it is moving like this, it means the, 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 the fluid compartment or the, or, the, or the total fluid in the intracellular fluid that is increasing. And if it is moving like this, it means the fluid portion is decreasing. If it is moving like this, it means the osmolarity of the intracellular fluid is increasing. If it is moving like this, it means the osmolarity of the intracellular fluid is decreasing. We have already discussed videos regarding uh, diagnosing of these conditions. You can watch my previous video as well. Thank you.